Going to 25, I don't ever feel bad. Take some time off. Just go chill out, hang out. Hi friends, I wasn't going to vlog today, but I've had my camera for a while. I got the Sony ZV-1 and I am using that to replace my soon to be sold Canon G7X. I just wanted to test out this camera. I have not changed the settings. I literally just popped the SD card in and started to record. And if I start to look on the side, it's because it doesn't flip up like this anymore, which I was able to get away with like looking at the screen because it was like up here versus to the side. But now I have to actually get in the habit of like looking straight at you guys, which will take some time to get used to, but this is why we do these things, right? We gotta practice. So I wanted to just test out this camera and so far, I really love it. I love the autofocus on this thing. I think that is something that it's very notorious for is that it just has really good autofocus and then it has that effect where it like blurs the background. I think you can change how much it blurs the background. Lighting is great. I don't know what the sound quality is yet, so I'm very intrigued to see what, or I guess hear what it sounds like. I also bought a mic for this camera as well as my other camera. I was thinking about attaching that new mic to this one as well. But anyway, enough about equipment. Let's go ahead and build this thing that I bought today for our bathroom. Um, let's just go to the bathroom and I'll show you guys what I'm talking about. As you guys can see, we have a bunch of stuff in the corner. I'm trying to build this corner caddy thing so we have a little bit more organization in our bathroom. Is it? The air wrap. Oh my gosh. Oh, what is it? What's that? What's this? Thanks, babe. Baby. Good morning. You, you look <laughs> like a monkey. And you smell like a monkey.
guys, look at how cute. Look at how cute this is. It's a Funko of Stitch from that one scene in Lilo and Stitch where Lilo puts a coin into like this little spaceship ride and Stitch thinks it's an actual spaceship but it's actually like just a ride. <laughs> and <laughs> look at how cute this is. Oh my gosh. So I actually ended up moving the stand to this side of my sink instead of where I had it, which is over here, because I realized that whenever I wash my face and stuff, this area always gets super wet and I kind of just didn't want to risk all of this getting wet. I also decided to put the actual base of the air wrap in my cabinet along with my T3 curling iron because I just feel like the cord is like there's a lot of cord here. Um, this is just too thick to just sit on the counter and I also didn't want to risk like this part of it getting wet so I just decided to keep it in there for now and then whenever I use it I'll probably just set it down here if I need to like part my hair or anything. I've been trying a bunch of different kombuchas lately and today I'm trying this Brew Doctor kombucha and it's in the flavor island mango. I try not to drink too much of this throughout the week just because I know it has a bunch of sugars in it, but it's still, still really good. Oh my gosh. You guys should always have one of these like rubber things in your house to help you open bottles like did you see how easy that was this is not bad this is a passion fruit ginger and green tea i'm also having a little bit of a snack um this is just some chicken salad with some crackers it's been a pretty busy work day so i thought i'd just you know come chill out with you guys for a little bit while i enjoy this lovely snack and maybe catch you up on some things that have been happening lately I haven't really been vlogging lately because I feel like I'm at a point where I'm making some real progress in some of the things that I'm doing like with fitness and nutrition. I feel like if I talk about the things that I'm working on like very early on, for some reason I tend to get like really discouraged. But I think I'm making some real progress now and I kind of thought I'd share that with you guys. Going into 25, I made the conscious decision to put my health first. I've had this pretty steady, I guess, fitness journey. <laughs> I don't know what you want to call it. I guess it's a fitness journey. It's been a solid three, almost four years of me being retired from track. And that means that it's been a solid three years that I've been on my own trying to figure out just like fitness and nutrition is like the biggest thing for me. All of that to say that I think I'm finally in a place where I can eat healthy and not beat myself up over it, if that makes sense. You really have to be in a good space mentally in order to like make moves because if you just kind of force yourself to do something, it's not sustainable, you're not gonna like it, and you really need to find your own rhythm, you know? Anyways, I'm gonna finish this up and then I'm gonna get back to work and we'll see what we get up to for the rest of the afternoon. I've been 
doing my best to drink more tea recently. I actually haven't had coffee in about a week, which is pretty crazy to me because I feel like I've been drinking coffee every day for the past like six months but i have recently switched into earl grey i've been drinking it with milk so i kind of make like a homemade london fog it gives me some caffeine in the morning i absolutely love drinking earl grey my favorite boba drink is actually earl grey milk tea so this is pretty much perfect for me <laughs> No more treats for you, sir. <laughs> I have my timer going on my forest app and I have about 10 minutes until I'm done. But I'm done for the day. I've met my ticket quota for the day and I kind of just have a little bit of like admin work, I guess. And then I'm done for the day. It feels pretty good. Happy Friday. <laughs> I feel like I've said that like 80 times, but I'm not a weekend warrior. I wouldn't call myself a weekend warrior. Like I definitely enjoy my job. I'm glad that I have the schedule that I have. I'm not a weekend warrior, but I definitely enjoy my time off, you know? I'm actually really glad that my company highly suggests that we take PTO at least once a month, I think. Well, that specific metric is not like in any documentation but i mean people do definitely talk about just like taking frequent pto make sure that you recharge and aren't feeling so burnt out all the time and i really really like that about my company if you're due for pto this is my note to you to take that pto even if it's just like a day a month or something where you just you know you take a random wednesday or tuesday or a three-day weekend or whatever like just don't ever feel bad take some time off just go chill out hang out you know i feel like you definitely can't perform your best if you are not at your best so your performance is very reflective of your mental state and if you're always putting up a front and you're actually really burnt out even though you're still performing really well that's still not good so anyway go take that pto anyways i'm gonna finish up all of my little admin work note thingies as always thank you guys so so much again for tuning in and watching these vlogs of mine i really do appreciate it i love doing these because it feels like i'm just talking to friends and the community that i've built online is truly truly a special one it's still pretty small but i definitely enjoy engaging with all of you guys in my last video i made it a point to comment back on every single comment that i got on that video and aside from like my very old singing videos i feel like that video got so many comments but yeah i just love it i love it when you guys engage with my content it lets me know that you guys actually do watch it and it lets me know that you're here and i'm just so grateful for your support if you've reached this point in the video let me know what your favorite disney movie is don't ask me why, it's just our question for the day. Um, mine is Lilo and Stitch. As you guys can see from my new Funko Pop that Sean got me. I love so many different Disney and Pixar movies, but Lilo and Stitch is definitely my number one. More recently, I really love Soul. I think that's more of like a Disney and Pixar though. Um, and then like all the old movies like Hercules, Mulan. Those are like the movies that I had in like VHS tapes <laughs> when I was like younger. So anyway, let me know what you guys' favorite Disney movie is. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.